Police responded to Benson Park a couple times last night, then a shooting with three victims, including one man who died. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with the details tonight. Jake. Well, Jenny, um, out here at Benson Park, police were here till early this afternoon. You still see some people here in the park as well. OPD says that they did two compliance checks before the shooting. 9.30 Tuesday evening. Police say three teens shot at Benson Park while many others were there. Wagak, an 18-year-old male, was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Two females, 19-year-old Niam Paul Tut and 17-year-old Niagoa Riang, are taken to separate hospitals with non-life-threatening injuries. Officers say there were more than 100 people at the park at the time. Greg Schneider fishes at the lake. He says he saw the large group and hoped police kicked the people out before the shooting happened. If they'd seen that many people there, all they had to do was kick them out, put up that tape, and have been done with. Mayor Jean Stothard says shutting down all the parks was already decided because so many people weren't following the rules already in place. The incident at Benson last night was tragic and unfortunate, but I would say it really had nothing to do with this decision today. It had more to do with what we observed last weekend in all of our parks throughout the city. Chief Schumacher says they did two compliance checks at Benson Park prior to the shooting. One for too many people playing basketball, another for 40 people at the pavilion. They broke up both groups. I'm not going to talk too much about this because it's under investigation, but it stemmed from an altercation involving a property damage accident in the south parking lot. At some point during that altercation, witnesses have described two people get out and start shooting. Of those dozens of people that were out here last night, police say not many of them were answering their questions, so they still need witnesses to come forward. According to 72nd and Military, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. If you have information on what happened, call Omaha Police. That number is on your screen. You can remain anonymous and may be eligible for a $25,000 cash reward.